let's say we have a function y equals x squared, or we can say f of x equals x squared. And we want to figure out how fast this function is increasing or decreasing at a given point. So let me explain what I mean by that. Let me, let's graph this function first. We have our y-axis and then we have our x-axis. So y equals x squared looks something like, let me do a different color, looks something like this and this. Now let's say we want to figure out at a certain point at this fun on this function, so maybe maybe right here or right here, we want a good way to define how fast it's increasing. So it seems like the fun function starts increasing starting from here, and then it looks like the rate of increase actually increases. So first it's slowly increasing, and then it starts going really fast. And, and we can say that that's exponential, right? This function is, is exponential. And let's say we want to figure out a way to actually um, quantify that, that growth and say, you know, at, at this point, it's increasing at, a, at an X amount. And at this point, it's increasing at a Y amount. And a good way to do that is, is if we had, if we, if we can say that what the slope at this point is, and, um, and obviously this is a curve, so we can't really say it has, a, a, you know, we can't say the curve has a slope, but we can say that at a certain point, there's a certain slope. And we can't quite do that yet because we don't have our mathematical tools for derivatives, but that's what we're going to be learning in this video. So first, let's start. First, let's start by taking the slope, taking the slope at between these two points. So I'm going to this point and this point. I'm going to say this point is x equals two, and I'll say this point is x equals three. And so we have our function, so we know that f of 2 needs to be 4, and f of 3 has to be 9. So if we connect those two points and we make it a line, right, just like that, um, that line right there has a certain slope, which I'm going to call m. And our goal is to find m. Well, we can just use our original slope formula, which goes by m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I like to think of this as, as the change in y, or delta y over the change in x, which in this case, the change in y is uh, 9 to 4, or sorry, 4 to 9, which is 5, or same thing as 9 minus 4. Change in x, well, we decided we want to go from 2 to 3, so that's just 1. So the slope of this line right here is 5. So m is equal to 5. Now, this, the, this slope of this line that we just found here, we can sort of say that it's an okay estimate of this curve. It seems like that this curve is, you know, it can, it can sort of be estimated uh, as a line, um, given that the, this, the x coordinates are only 1 away, so delta x is, is equal to 1. Now, what if we make those points closer to each other? Maybe we can make our estimate better. So let's now pick two different points and I'll pick them somewhere here. Let's say, let's say I want to pick x equals one and then I'm going to pick x equals 1.5. Okay, so this is x equals one and then this right here is 1.5. Now if we connect those two points Notice how it sort of just overrides the, the parabola. So it looks like this is a much better estimate of, of, of the parabola. So now let's find the slope between these two points. Well, at 1, y is equal to 1 as well. So I'm going to call this one m naught. It just means a different m. So let's find m naught. Um, let's see. So again, we have m naught is equal to the change in y over the change in x. And in this case, the change in y, well, it goes from, uh, if we plug in 1 for uh, x, we get 1. So we get uh, 1, and then also, so the point is 1, 1, and the other point that we have is 1, comma. well, if we plug in 1.5, 1.5 squared, that's 2.25. So we end up with the change in y is 1.25, and it did change in 
the change in x sorry this is supposed to be 1.5 change in x is 0.5 and we, we can plug this into our calculator and we notice that we get uh, 2.5 so the slope here is 2.5 now what if we want to define what the what the I'm gonna put it on quotation marks what the slope is at an instant on this parabola in other words at a, at a singular point so we want to say like at this point right here the growth rate the growth rate is some value B well to do that essentially what we need to do is take so here let me define the point here actually let's say we want to figure out what the the growth rate which we said we can we can define quantity qu quantitatively with a slope um, at this point let's say we want to figure out at this point right here well essentially what we can do is we can keep squeezing these to these two points together so, and so let's say that the next two points we evaluate the slope at is, is this point and this point and we would keep squeezing them together until we get to this exact point right here and in other words we we pick this pink point which you can say is at uh, at 1.25 and then we make our delta x so the point right after it we make our delta x essentially zero right we, we barely go uh, to the next x value or you can think of it as like 1.25 and then and then 1.25000001 right and if we evaluate the slopes um, between these two points, then essentially we can say that at a given point, 1.25, the slope of the parabola is 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 a, uh, is, a, is a certain constant. Now let me show you mathematically what that means. And this is taking us to the idea of a derivative, or in other words, in this case, it's the tangent line. So before I explain to you mathematically what that is, let me show you what it represents. If we wanna figure out the slope or again the rate of change or the growth rate of this parabola at a certain point essentially what we can do is figure out the slope the slope of the tangent line at that point and let me show you what I mean by that let me pick a different point actually let's say the point we want to pick is right here if we find the slope of the tangent line at that point so this line right here so the tangent line means at that point the parabola touches the line if we find the slope of this line right here then we find the slope essentially of that point on the parabola and that and this line will explain the decrease rate um, or the growth rate of this parabola at that point now mathematically what this means is this right here we can actually use limits to introduce this so mathematically, this would be the limit, the limit as x goes to, sorry, as the change in x goes to 0 of some function f of x plus delta x, or change in x, minus f of x over delta x. Now let's, let's think about what this means. So what this says is that we can get the slope at a given point as long as we change as long as we make our delta x go to zero and this means as long as we pick our next point to be a point that is infinitesimally close to the point that we picked so let's say we want to figure out the the the, uh, the tangent slope at 1.25 which we said right here this would be the limit as the change in x goes to zero of well in this case our f of x is x squared so we have one point so we have x plus delta x squared minus x squared over the delta x so this would come out to, and again, we want to evaluate it at 1.25, so we can plug in 1.25 for x. In this case, it would be the limit 
as delta x goes to zero of 1.25 plus delta x squared minus 1.25 squared over delta x. All right, let's uh, keep evaluating this. Well, if we expand this polynomial right here, we get 2.25 plus 2.5 delta x plus delta x squared minus 2.25 all over delta x. Okay, well, the 2.25s cancel. And again, we're still taking the limit as, as delta x goes to zero. So I'm, I need to, I'm gonna write that right here. So now this, this is equal to the limit as delta x goes to zero of 2.25s cancel. Um, we can factor out a delta x. So we get a delta x times 2.5, 2.5 minus delta x all over delta x. And again, what I did here is, is factor out a delta x and cancel the 2.25. So if, if you need to pause there for a second to look at the algebra, go ahead and do so. Now in this case, I can, fact, uh, I can uh, cancel out the delta x's. So then this is equal to the limit as delta x goes to zero of 2.5 minus delta x. Well, now we can just plug in zero for delta x and this just gives us 2.5. Now let's think about what we did here. We found the instant slope of the tangent line at 1.25. So at this point right here, 1.25, there's a certain line that is tangent to the curve that looks something like that. And what we did is we found the slope of this pink line right here. And we found that the slope is 2.5 at that exact point right there and mathematically what we did is we squeezed down two points that are right next to it and we said the squeeze essentially to be zero the limit as the, the squeeze goes to zero so so if you squeeze enough you'll essentially end up on the same point so then we get our m is equal to 2.5 so we can explain our a growth rate at x equals 1.25 mathematically by 2.5. We can say that the growth rate or the derivative in this case of 1.25 uh, of x squared is 2.5. And we're going to talk about this in the next video as well.